Three Tips to Succeed with Atomy with Imperial Master Doug Woolley and voiceover by me, Mr. B. Greetings to you. Today's success secret is from Doug Woolley, a man of many histories. Atomy has reached a revenue of 780 million in 2016, in less than eight years since the company's coming into existence, and opening nine overseas branches with 150 million revenue. We can call it a successful global enterprise. The reason for our huge success is not only the products with absolute quality and absolute price, but also the compensation system that is just and honorable. Our company doesn't promote star marketing, which caters to higher mastership holders, but concentrates on compensating lower-ranked contractors. The founder has always set his heart on the spirits of struggling beginners. In my opinion, that's how we became so successful like this. Then, what are exactly your roles? You should be able to show all of your partners the way to the Royal Leaders Club. What should you do for that purpose? I've given it a lot of thought, yet came to this conclusion that if you are a good tree, you will naturally bear good fruits. First success secret, a good tree will naturally bear good fruits. I ran into a bunch of dilemmas after being given this mission, yet our conclusion as an MLM remains the same. A good tree will naturally bear good fruits. What is the last step in our 8 steps to success? It's duplication. Duplication is really very simple, meaning making another one. Repeat after me, making another one. What are you going to make? What? Yourself. What would happen if you are defective? More defective products will be produced. When you first begin with this business, if you keep talking about our compensation plan and big business, you will run into some serious problems. What's wrong? You will have no sales. Be wary of male contractors. They exaggerate the Atomy vision, saying that anyone can become an Royal Master in just a year, and then they leave in six months, complaining there's no money in this. What's going on? They are sour grape trees. The trees have fruits, yet no consumer wants to eat it. They get no sales. What else is not there? No compensation. What's their complaint about this business? There's no money to be made. At any rate, we must become good trees. Once you're a good tree, how will good fruits come about? Automatically. What determines success or failure with the army? How you view and regard this business? What you tell others about Atomy, how big you size up the business, everything you say and do will be duplicated. Let me reiterate, it'd be a miracle not to succeed with Atomy. Where do you derive the energy for doing this business? From the very thought of making 50,000 US dollars a month, are you guys believing that you will be making 50,000 US dollars a month? Or maybe you won't. However, it can't be just you who has such a thought. Who else should think that? Your partners. You must convince the people who couldn't come here that making 50,000 US dollars a month will happen for sure. Do you understand? There's a Korean saying like this. Parents can't even drink what in front of the kids? 
Right, water. You can't even drink water in your kid's presence. That saying can't describe duplication better. You can't even drink water in your kid's presence. In this network marketing business, all the partners look at their sponsors with respect, don't they? You don't answer, not true? All of you are the objects of duplication. You are at least a mentor for your partners. All of you who are watching this video clip are someone's partner and at the same time someone's sponsor. Only when you are a good tree will your partners turn out as good trees. Change should start with you first. Being a good tree is easier said than done. However, if you know how to be grateful, you can become a good tree. Second secret to success, be grateful. Most of all, you should be thankful, you should be grateful. If you feel gratitude, you will be able to forgive your sponsor who might be a mean jerk, won't you? You will. If you're thankful, you will become passionate. You were given this information by whom? You got it from your sponsor. Therefore, should you criticize or appreciate your sponsor? As our Dr. Lee always says, we are all half smarter. However, your partners expect you to be Superman. Don't you wish your sponsor could bring in many contractors, increase sales numbers, pull you to higher masterships, and so on? You don't? Maybe you guys don't expect it. Still, we are half-smarters. A half-smarter partner should be grateful for his half-smarter sponsor. On the other hand, don't you wish your partner could expand his downlines on his own? The reality is that no amount of your sponsoring fosters his growth. Does this frustrate you or not? What will the sponsor's heart turn into? A block of coal? Think about the day when your partner came to the seminar and you were anxious the whole time. Why? Because you wanted him to become a contractor. Therefore, should you be thankful to your partners? Or point out where they fall short? That's right, you need to be thankful. Also, I think about this all the time. What would I have become if it were not for Arami? What would I be today? I would have been a total failure with credit delinquency and banned from opening a bank account. I would have become an unwanted member of the family who constantly worried my children. That was the me who met Arami nine years ago. Back then we had only two items. Of course, you couldn't pay with a credit card. We didn't even have a brochure or a homepage. This time, when I went to the opening ceremony in Malaysia, I saw six attendees out of 17 sitting in the front row at the very first Atomy seminar. I felt so grateful for them on that night because they had been all credit delinquents too. Had those 17 people not been credit delinquents, would any entry fee have been born or not? It would have. That threw a curveball for President Park. He thought, with an added maintenance fee, no one could survive. So what disappeared? The maintenance fee disappeared. Therefore, we need to be really thankful to those 17 credit delinquents who were at the first seminar. Let's give them a round of thankful applause.
Complaint and appreciation are one step away from each other. Instead of blaming your sponsors and partners who might fall short, you should be thankful for the sponsor who introduced you and for the partner who works hard for you. There's another party who should be grateful to, none other than your sibling lines. Third secret, your sibling line's success is your success. I had learned from this author that teamwork means the success of your neighbor, and Arami was already practicing it. What is this for us? Super synergy of united heart. Most of us don't have a partner in the US, yet we're still marching on. Things are going well in Japan and Taiwan too. I'll tell you more about the success of your neighbor. No matter how many sponsors you might have, it can't be more than 30. Count how many you have. I'm not talking about all of your sponsors in your lineage. The one that comes to the one day and success will be less than 30. Those folks haven't tried many kinds of professions. At the most, 30 kinds. Let's say you want to approach a nurse and you happen to have a former nurse in your sibling line. Who else could do a better job persuading a nurse? Not a member from the role leaders, that former nurse is the best. In our 8 steps to success lecture, the introduction starts with the company, the products, the compensation plan, and what's last? How you got to be in this business. How you wound up here is your conclusion. Former nurses should talk to nurses. Former restaurant owners will be the best at relating to the restaurant owner. With nitty gritty gripes, only those two can share. Talking to each other like this will bring them together. Hence, once our sipping lines combine their hearts, there's nothing to be afraid of. Are you with me? As long as you wish success on your neighbors, things will be moving on smoothly. Let's assume someone stops showing up at the center. Whose call would be more effective, a sponsor or a member of a sipping line? Right, a call from a sipping line would be very effective. That person will be deeply touched if sipping line members call her. New consumer introduction would benefit your sipping lines more than your sponsor as well. In our compensation system, who do we owe for our 300k and 300k PV in return? We owe our sipping lines, all of those overflown points don't go to the partners, but to whom? To our sipping lines. Aromi is well on its way to success. Everyone could make 50,000 US dollars a month with Aromi, right? How does that work? We impose a ceiling at 50,000 US dollars a month. For me, I have 300 million PVs on each of my legs, out of which only 50 million are recognized. Still, the reason I can't complain is that when PVs on my both legs were 300,000 each, I received $75. I didn't make that money necessarily because I did well but because of the people in my sibling lines who started this business before me. Those who had leftover PVs deposited between 300,000 PVs and 700,000, 1.5 million, 2.4, 6 million PVs. The points are countless. Those points are from the leaders. Those who accumulate 6 million to 20 million PVs are raw leaders. Where does this huge number of PVs go to? or to the 300 and 300k, those leftover PVs go to the 300k and 300k. From day one, you're able to manage the business thanks to your sibling lines. That is exactly why we are growing so fast. We try to make up for the hardship of early contractors with help of sibling lines. That's not all. They violently take half of the multi-matching bonus. It's practically robbery. They take half of the bonus. And give it to whom? 
they give it to the sales masters. After all, the help of Diamond Masters and Shine Rose Masters is making things happen for struggling early sales masters. I want you to realize that all the members in your centers are connected by sibling lines, aren't they? We are all sibling lines. As long as you embrace the idea that your neighbor's success is yours, we can boost our growth not only in the Korean market, but also in the world's market. We are all capable of helping each other out and being grateful for each other. Why not be the sponsor that your partners first think of when they are down and out while working in the field? If that image of you is duplicated, 2017 will be the year for you. It has been Secrets to Success by Doug Wu Lee. Thank you for watching. Would you like to help a lot of people? Would you like to make a lot of money helping a lot of people? Is the answer yes? Then join us on the Value People Often Project. We are looking for people who are fueled by passion to make a positive difference for others, providing value to as many people as often as possible that can do anything from saving them time and money to helping them boost their health, relationships and wealth. Join my team now and let's positively impact the world. Value people often. Contact me at MrBLife on the listed social channels.